Hi everyone, it's Brett here, Line Art 84. It's um, Sunday the 4th of August and I've um, just uh, been out all day and I thought I'd come and do a fruit tasting with some of the fruits that I bought from uh, My Exotic, I think they're called My Exotic Fruit Company. .com. It's a UK based company and they uh, import unusual fruits. Um, some which I've had before, like the uh, Rambutan that I did in a previous tasting and uh, some which I don't remember ever having in my life like this uh, this is a small sapodilla <clears throat> or at least that's what they've sold it to me as um, I think it's called Chiku elsewhere uh, can't remember the Italian name at the moment uh, can't remember the Latin name at the moment but I think commonly it's called sapodilla <coughs> to be honest I'm not even sure how to eat the fruit so um, I thought what I'd try and do is just cut it in half I don't know if it's ripe, might not be ripe which means it'll be a disappointment but I guess since I've never had one I won't know whether it's ripe or a good or bad one. So what I'll try and do is cut it down half down the middle, I'm hoping it's going to have seeds in it which I don't want to damage. Okay so there's a seed. Now I've seen, it smells okay, I've seen pictures of them on videos and they're normally more of a tend to be more of a brown colour inside so I'm going to guess this one isn't fully ripe but I don't know if it would have got any more riper if I'd left it in a fruit bowl or in a fridge or wherever so I thought here goes nothing I might as well try it and see but the idea is hopefully to get some seeds that might germinate now I wouldn't say it's quite a thin looking seed so I don't know if that's typical of these I think they normally have about four seeds in them so I'll try cutting it in quarters Okay, so there's another seed there, and I can see there's another seed. It doesn't smell of much. I'm afraid I'm not one of these people who's used to doing fruit tasting, so I can't tell you that it smells like a cross between a grapefruit and a pineapple, and that it tastes like a certain type of grape. I won't be able to give you the sweetness rating or. Uh, or the soundness rating on the scale, all I'm going to do is taste it and see if I think it tastes okay. Now I don't even know if you're meant to peel them as I said, so what I think I might do is just try a bite out of this piece here. All I'm going to tell you if I like it or not. Okay, I don't think that, I'm sure the skin probably is edible but I'm not excited by the texture or flavour of the skin, so we'll peel that off. People who eat these all the time will be laughing at me, but I'm going to peel the skin off and see what happens. Okay. Now I recognise on this, there's some astringency on it. Now that tells me that it's not right. Well, at least not ripe enough because rather like persimmons it's edible but I can taste the, the astringency but I really didn't know if I leave it to, in, sitting in a fruit bowl if it'll just be ruined or if it'll get sweeter but I'm kind of disappointed because I hear people saying how oh, these are like eating like brown sugar well that's definitely not the case on this one so I'm fairly sure that that it's still astringent, but I suspect it would be very hard to buy right ones here. The main thing to get it for was the seeds. Yes, gives you that kind of puckering in the mouth, but it's not like having it's not like having an unripe persimmon that's really astringent because then your whole mouth feels like it's being sucked inside out. So. I'm not going to waste this, but it's certainly not, I'm not eating it thinking, wow, sapodilla is the best fruit I've had in my life, but unless you're in a tropical country where, unfortunately, unless you're in a tropical country where you can get these things fresh from the tree when you know they're fully ripe, then I, I, it's probably always going to be a disappointment. That's the problem with living on the wrong side of the world for this kind of stuff. But um, I'm going to eat the rest of it because it's not, it's not so astringent, it's unpleasant. You can taste... There is, probably would be quite a pleasant fruit and I'm 
very sure that's meant to be a dark brown inside, whereas it's sort of like cream with a hint of hint of beige. So I'm absolutely convinced that bit was a little bit better. Maybe that bit of the fruit's riper. Yeah, I've got no doubt about it. I think this might be a very pleasant tasting fruit with a bit more ripeness in it. Well, I've got four. I think there's another seed in here. No. Four seeds out of it. I'm going to read up how to germinate them. And we'll see what happens. But that's my... Probably not very successful sapodilla tasting. A little bit disappointing, but it is edible. <coughs> and I can tell that it would be a nice fruit, I'm sure, if it was really ripe. So I might try again sometime in the future and see if I can find a really ripe one. Excuse me eating on camera anyway. Anyway, sapodilla tasting, or at least sapodilla seed collection. Lovely nice looking seed, it's sort of like a glossy dark black colour with a white white section down the side I'm guessing the uh, root will probably come out of but I'll read up how to germinate them and we'll have a go <coughs> welcome to uh, as usual please like um, share subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um, if you want to see future videos and you might be lucky get me tasting a persimmon that's really astringent some time and get a really puckered mouth I'll give you a good laugh then hit the bell and you'll get future notifications anyway thanks for watching that's Brett out for now Lionheart84 and I'll catch up with you in the next video